The reason I wanted to see this was absolutely Diane Kruger. Because I think it was last year that I saw a movie called In the Fade. And that kind of reminded me that, oh yeah, Diane Kruger is actually a pretty good actor. And while this hadn't been exactly well received, I thought it still looked interesting. And it starts with this retired agent, played by Martin Freeman, who gets a cryptic phone call from an operative he used to work with. This operative being Diane Kruger's character, who works for the Mossad, the Israeli intelligence agency. And it seems like this operative has become a bit of a loose cannon. And the Mossad wants to get in contact with her, or something of that nature. So Martin Freeman's character starts to recount his earlier dealings with her. He basically tells the story of the mission they worked on together before he retired. And that story is most of what we get to see play out as well. So it's basically all in the past tense, everything we see has already happened. And it's only near the very end when we're caught up with this story, that we catch up with her character in the present day. And I feel like that was just a very clumsy and roundabout way of telling this story. I mean, they could have just told her story in real time, through her character, instead of telling it in the past tense through this other character. But what bothered me even more were the motivations behind what was going on. Because you're never really explained what exactly is going on, from the point of view of the Mossad. You don't ever really know what they're doing, or why they're exactly doing it. Now they obviously want to find this woman, this operative of theirs, who seems to sort of be doing her own thing now. But pretty much no details are given as to what exactly is going on, until the very end. So the way this thing is structured is just a little bit messy and awkward. And I realized that I probably didn't even do a very good job explaining it. But I think that's not really even the movie's biggest problem. I think it could have still worked, because it's not exactly confusing while watching it. It's pretty easy to understand what's going on. It's just that it keeps the details a bit vague, and goes about telling the story in an unnecessarily complicated way. But what makes this movie not very good, not very effective in my opinion, is that it's just kind of boring and dull and not all that engaging. I mean, this is essentially a spy movie, and those are supposed to be exciting. There's supposed to be suspense and intrigue and all sorts of fun stuff. But this one though, well, I definitely wouldn't call it fun. And overall not that exciting either, or suspenseful for that matter. I mean, there are moments here and there, especially closer to the end, that get a little bit more interesting, but for the most part it's just sort of boring. And it's a two hour movie that felt way longer, it really struggled to keep me entertained. And that was really my biggest issue with this movie, it just wasn't very entertaining. Now on paper there really isn't any individual part that stood out to me as being particularly bad. It's a fairly good looking movie with decent acting and even the writing wasn't bad. Well I guess I should say the dialogue and the character writing wasn't bad. Because I don't know exactly why this movie ended up being as boring as it was. But it could have absolutely been the script, or it could have been the editing and the way they decided to put it all together. I don't know, but the end result is just kinda unimpressive and definitely not anything special. Now that being said, it's also not absolutely awful, because of how competently most things were handled. I've seen far worse, and even the core story here isn't that bad when you really look at it. But yeah, it's just not a very good movie, and I guess that brings me to the ending. Because throughout the movie, I was sort of clinging on to the hope that... Uh, in the end, it would all come together, it would all make sense, and it would all pay off. And while it did make sense, it definitely did not pay off, in my opinion. Because the movie just sort of ends all of a sudden. And I think I know what they were going for, kind of a Sopranos type ending. However, it just came across as one of the most anticlimactic endings in recent memory, which just left me with the most underwhelming feeling I've felt at the end of a movie in a while. So yeah, this one was definitely a bit of a dud, and honestly, I expected more. But would I recommend it? No, not really, it's just one of the dullest spy movies I've ever seen. So you can probably skip this one. Or don't, after all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.